Okay, hello. Uh, my name is Johannes Tendemetet. Uh, I'm Norwegian, uh, 21 uh, years old. Uh, next year I will ride for uh, Team Visma Lisa bike, actually. Uh, after three years in the, in the development team of Den Jumbo Visma, I'm really happy to, uh, yeah, to do my first year as a, as a pro cyclist. Yeah, and I'm uh, Per Strand Hagnes. Uh, I'm also riding for uh, Visma Lisa bike next year as a Neo Pro. Um, been also in the Devo team, but uh, yeah, for two years. I'm 20 years old, so uh, really looking forward to that. Uh, it depends on if it's going up or if it's flat. If it's going straight up, Johannes would definitely drop me. If it if it's long enough, of course. But then if it's flat, I believe I can I can take him. Um, I definitely believe that Per is the stronger rider. You know, he, uh, I I I need a little bit more uh, more years. I'm uh, as you can hear here. I'm also. I'm also a year older than him, uh, but uh, I think Per is super talented and uh, he's a really hard worker. So for the moment, I'm the one who has to catch up. But uh, but uh, on on my day, I think uh, I think uh, I can uh, I can uh, take him uh, on the climbs. But uh, for the rest, I, uh, he uh, he still has uh, has a has a good edge on on me. But uh, for the most part, it went really well. Did you explain that he punctured in the ditch on the <laughs> on the training camp? Ik zal het in Nederlands vertellen als het toch voor sport is. Dus uh, Johannes die houdt graag van uh, verhalen te vertellen. En hij was uh, op trainingskamp uh, bezig met uh, zijn plannen uit de doeken te doen. Toen hij plots niet echt goed oplette en uh, in, in de berm verdween. En dat was, uh, dat was al mooi, maar toen het hij ook nog eens lekker in de berm was de hilariteit al om natuurlijk. Dus, uh, maar, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm I'm so in, inspired of watching uh, watching uh, Wout doing crossing on television. You know, so uh, I gotta, yeah, maybe I gotta find a more nice uh, middle ground and just uh, just doing it all. But uh, but for the moment, I, I'm really inspired of what you're doing. You know? <laughs> so since then, we name him Johannes the Crosser. Yeah, I think um, I think. Um, He's surely a really, really strong rider. But but what I also really like is that these super strong riders are also just normal guys, you know? Uh, so uh, as long as uh, we act normally, you know, and act like they are normal people, I think, uh, uh, yeah, then it's, it's really nice being around those guys because, uh, yeah, they act like you are normal and, uh, yeah, um, it's, just, it's just super cool to, to be around them. Yeah, a little bit would be good, I guess, but uh, yeah, I, uh, I think it's difficult to say. It's probably just better at everything, <laughs> at that, least that, at the moment. That you or he is better at everything? He is better at yeah, everything. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm better at skiing. Yeah. There, there I have an edge. And I but, do think uh, that you have a strong grass in him, actually. Uh, that's also, some of, some of the people have uh, said that. It's, uh, but yeah, we, we, we will see. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, hopefully, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I uh, yeah, of course we only did under 23 racing usually together, but uh, but for me when uh, when I, uh, I I I'm going for the GC, I always like like pair to be there because uh, in some way he is then my my vout. Uh, I I I love just tucking him in behind him, you know, and it's the place I feel the most safe, uh, to be honest. So. Uh, I think uh, if I can answer the question, I think there's definitely a lot of a lot of uh, Wout in no pair pair in pair in Wout Wout in pair pair in yeah Wout in pair yeah. In his career, I think in Pear's career, uh, the answer is he will win a lot of races <laughs> um, and also a lot of big races. Um, I think uh, everyone who's seen him riding uh, and uh, yeah have uh, have thought have the same thought uh, about it. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's definitely uh, yeah you're, he's a classics guy. Uh, so uh, I I I I, uh, I hope for Pear to win. Uh, I know uh, one of his ambitions is to do well at the, at the Paris Roubaix, and I really hope for him that he can win it in the future as well. Uh, and I really believe it myself. Uh, so. Uh, I think uh, th this uh, this could be a good good aim for the future, uh, but before that, uh, I know we will win uh, a lot of solid races. That's for sure. I think uh, Johannes sometimes can think I'm a little bit annoying because 
for example, on say we have like a six hour ride and it's starting to get a little bit rough. Like I would still enjoy like the conversation and being happy and stuff, but sometimes they have to go in like the, you know, the box and concentrate a little bit. And then sometimes Johannes can be like, okay, fair. Now you shut the fuck up and, <laughs> and we ride the bike. So, uh, but I, other than that, I think it's uh, really good. Eh? Yeah, so, I, I, sometimes I can be a bit, little bit sharp, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but for the rest, uh, yeah, it's, it's only when I'm uh, in the most pain myself, then, then, then those random things can be, be uh, quite, quite a struggle. But for the rest, uh, I really, really enjoy it. Yeah, hi uh, Sportza and uh, Belgische mensen. Uh, wij zijn uh, heel blij het, uh, met jou te voor jou te spreken. Uh... Ja, uh, ja no, I, ik probeer het om. Uh... <laughs> ja, <laughs> ik weet niet hè. Ja, het is mooi een interview met Sportza. Ik heb uh, de Instagram ge gevolgd en ik dacht, oh, goed uh, Instagram. Ik denk het wel. Zo, uh, wij, uh, wij hopen dat we uh, allemaal fijne kerstdagen hebben. Uh, en een uh, goede nieuwe jaar. Nieuwe jaar? Nieuwe jaar. Ja, klopt. Bedankt om deze Sporza video te bekijken. Een like of reactie achterlaten mag altijd. En vergeet ons zeker niet te volgen. Dat doe je hier. En wil je meer video's zien? Check zeker VRT Max of klik hier.